out here in the field. I heard it was a catastrophe <laughs> with our watermelons and uh, they're right. Raccoons got a hold of them and this is what happens when they find your crop. So let's take a look. This is what raccoons will do. They've taken care of almost all of our watermelon. The second, what they do is, is the second they turn ripe, they, um, here's another one over here. The second they turn ripe, they break them open with their little mouths. Oh, there's one hidden right there. Hopefully they won't find it, but they break one open with their mouths and what they do is they stick their little hands in that hole and they pull out all that good ripe meat and um, they eat them out hollow so unfortunately this is what we have if y'all saw my other videos about our big beautiful melons this is the aftermath like I said once one finds them they won't leave them alone and um, yeah so we've only got maybe two watermelons out of it and <laughs> it's so sad it's so heartbreaking because all the money and all the time that goes into this see this right here that hole that's where they broke into it and this is another good example right here. That's just what they do. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about this. Um, we try to set live traps and uh, remove them, but um, they always come back. So other than unfortunately, humanely euthanizing them, which is something we do not want to do um that's about all our options are and it's heartbreaking we sold these for about four dollars and fifty cents a piece and it costs a lot to grow them sorry i keep looking down i just don't want to fall <laughs> um well guys i will see y'all later and i hope y'all have a very happy fourth of july um, take the time to cel celebrate our independence and um, I will see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe.